Hello, friends, and welcome into NBA Now. I am Tom Downey with some horrible, unfortunate news you haven't already heard. I'm sure most of you have, but we do have many of the details for you around Kobe Bryant. He was killed in a helicopter crash Sunday morning, originally reported as five people. L.A. law enforcement officials came out a little bit ago and said the manifest had nine, not five people, so we know two of them. That at least that, that had been publicly announced. L.A. officials were unhappy that the names even came out, but we know the two, so we'll discuss those. Kobe Bryant, the NBA Lakers superstar legend. The pilot, of course, was among them killed. And then in addition to that, Kobe Bryant's daughter, Gianna, was also killed in that helicopter crash. Reportedly, Bryant, his daughter, and others were flying out to a practice for Gianna over at the, uh, the, 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 the Mamba Academy. We heard originally that one of the uh, two of the other passengers were a teammate and her father. However, we don't know who the other four would be in that scenario, and I'm sure we'll figure out the details at some point. We do have a photo for you of it. It's not graphics, so don't worry. You don't have, you don't have to, to be concerned about that. We're not going to show you any footage of the plane or the helicopter coming down either. We're, we're not going to be insensitive there, but here it is, still smoking. Uh, initial uh, authorities said after the accident that. Because of where it's looking, you can kind of see like it's on that mountainside there. They weren't able to just drive up to it. In fact, they had to uh, helicopter in, you know, emergency personnel to, to look for survivors when they were clear that there were none. And to get there, they had to hike up there. They, they weren't able to access it easily. It went down in a remote area. And by the time they got there, it was very clear. Unfortunately, there were no survivors. So everyone in the comments, many of you have done this a lot. We've been live for a lot today on YouTube and on Facebook on this. Type RIP in the comments to pay some respect to Kobe Bryant, Gianna Bryant, and everybody else tragically killed in this horrible helicopter accident Sunday morning out in California. We've been looking at the comments. Most of you guys have been great. There have been a couple that uh, maybe we had to get rid of at various points. But for the most part, it was a, a, a very, um, very respectful comment discussion overall. And it is tragic, of course, not just the loss of, of Kobe Bryant's life, but the loss of the pilot, his daughter, and the seven others who were aboard that helicopter that went down early this Sunday morning. Bryant goes down, of course, in terms of himself as one of the greatest to ever play the game. He averaged 25 points per game. His resume stacks up with pretty much any NBA player out there. A five-time NBA champ an 18-time NBA All-Star. And that's not even like the NFL All-Star game, which more and more the Pro Bowl is kind of not a good indication of who's good. NBA All-Star a little bit more so. 12-time All-Defensive Team. I think it was a 15-time NBA All-Pro. An NBA MVP only once. You would figure that there might be more MVPs in Kobe's track record, but in the end, it was only one. A two-time NBA Finals MVP as well. A truly tragic loss of life for Kobe and the eight others dead on that helicopter crash. He goes down, of course, for now as the fourth all-time leading scorer, just surpassed by LeBron James, who was visibly upset earlier today in tears when he, when he heard the news and has been in tears for a good portion of the day. You see those bottom three, right? LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan. And speaking of Michael Jordan, Jordan put out a, a statement just a little bit ago about the tragic loss of Kobe Bryant. Here's what it said. I am in shock over the tragic news of Kobe and Gianna's passing. Words can't describe the pain I'm feeling. I love Kobe. He was like a little brother to me. We used to talk often, and I will miss those conversations very much. The entire NBA if you've watched the games, you, you saw the Spurs and Raptors, I believe it was, each take 24-second shot clock violations in honor of Kobe Bryant. Players on the bench in tears having lost a player that they were close to. Kyrie Irving will not be playing today because of his close connection with Kobe Bryant. He will sit out the game. The rest of the NBA games, at least for now, are, are still being played as Kobe Bryant tragically dead at the age of 41 along with his daughter, Gianna, and that's probably one of the more heartbreaking parts of the entire thing. So much loss of life, nine different people dead per LA, or LA authorities in this helicopter crash. Kobe, of course, was, was the name that everybody knew. He was the NBA superstar, but so many gone, so many gone so early. His 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, again, 
per the initial uh, reports coming out, is that Kobe and Gianna and others were flying out to a practice that, that, that she had at the Mamba Academy for her team. She had started to watch NBA games, and Kobe, who had stopped watching the NBA, watched it with her because she wanted to learn how to be a great basketball player, and Kobe, being a good father, helped teach her. Instead, both of them tragically gone here. Kobe, at the age of 41, born in 1978, became one of the premier NBA basketball players very quickly after entering the NBA. Really, in a way, took over the mantle from Michael Jordan. It almost feels like it went from Michael Jordan being the best player in the game to Kobe Bryant, and then, of course, more recently to LeBron James once Kobe stepped away. It still seems not real for so many out there. A truly larger-than-life figure in Kobe Bryant, beloved by L.A. fans, by NBA fans, by so many, taken away at just the age of 41, and then so tragically as well, dying with his daughter Gianna. Now, his wife Vanessa, per the initial reports, was not on the plane. We'll see who the other people who were involved there of the nine who died, uh, what the... Um, who they are and what their statuses are. But Gianna, the 13-year-old, I'm sure many of you saw the the popular, I don't want to call it a meme at this point, but the video of Gianna and Kobe talking on the sidelines, talking basketball at a game. Kobe nodding his head yes when, when she gets uh, what he's trying to say. A, a great moment of teaching and fatherhood because Gianna wanted to be a great basketball player. She seemed like she had a bright future in, in, in front of her. And then instead, at the age of 13, so sadly taken away in that helicopter crash that killed nine people. It had been initially reported as five. However, the LA officials say for the on the manifest of this helicopter, there are actually nine people. And they have said there are nine people are dead. When they ended their press conference, they were still waiting in the corner being able to get up there and, of course, to notify next of kin. That's why we're not indicating the other people who have died in that car crash. We don't want to announce it to the family who might be watching. That's not the way you ever want to do business there. So Kobe Bryant, dead at the age of 41, and his daughter Gianna, or Gigi Bryant, dead at the age of 13. Both of them killed in an incredibly tragic helicopter crash earlier this morning in Calabasas, California. They were flying out to a practice at the Mamba Academy, of course, at the end of the Bryant, where she was going to have a practice in Thousand Oaks, not that far away. We do not yet know why the plane went or the helicopter went down. I don't know if we're going to get that information for a little bit. That will take time. For whatever reason, a tragic accident involving Bryant, his daughter, and seven others, including the pilot. Most of these names have not been released. In fact, they were rather upset, LA officials were, that the names did come out. That's typically not what you want. You don't want those names coming out because you want to notify next of kin first. The last thing you want is law enforcement is for a family member to hear about the news of of a loved one on the radio or on the television or on Twitter at this point. So that's why we're not going to release those names. We don't know what happened here in terms of what caused the crash. Hopefully we find out at some point. But as of right now, we don't have any information. Here again is the photo of the helicopter, which as of a little bit ago was actually still smoldering a little bit, was kind of off away in the mountains. Helicopter or personnel had to Kind of fly down to go check for survivors. They had to hike up there. This was not in the middle of of air uh, of you know of an open area where they could easily access. It took them some time to get to. By the time they got there, unfortunately, there were no more or th- there were no survivors. Kobe Bryant's daughter among them, and of course Kobe Bryant as well. So everyone, who's done a great job of this so far. Do me a favor. Type RIP in the comment section. I have to block this guy here because that's not a, a cool comment to post. So I'll put him in timeout on our live channel. Um, again, keep it coming. RIP. It's it's a horribly sad day, not just for the Bryant family. Of course, we can we express our condolences to all those affected, the family, the friends, the, the loved ones of those involved in this absolutely horrific accident out in California that cost the lives of nine different people. It's incredibly sad. So keep the RIPs coming. I appreciate it, guys. It's, it's, it's the most respectful way, I guess, we can we can try to go about this at this very tragic moment here. But we don't want to be all negative and, and deal with the sadness here as well. I want to know from you guys, what's your favorite Kobe memory? Let me know in the comment section. There are a lot of options out here. What's your favorite Kobe memory? 
I'll tell you mine. I got two, I guess. One is not really a memory. It's a thing we always did, at least my, my age group. We, we, you would throw away trash, right, in, in, in high school or whatever, just during class sometimes. You yell Kobe. Like, that's, that's kind of the cultural impact that Bryant had on people my age. I see a couple of these in the comments, too. His last game was special for me. Able to sit down and truly watch that entire thing from start to finish to even cover it here at Chat Sports. To have a player of Kobe's caliber, which you don't often see that caliber of player, go out in the way that he did. A 60-point game against the Utah team, I believe it was still in the playoff race. That's rare. That is unique. You don't often get to see a player who was so good and clearly was not the same guy anymore. That's the nature of of father time. He's undefeated. To see a player go out on such a high note, that 60-point game, dominating the final one he ever played in, to go out on the top, and what otherwise is a terrible year for the LA Lakers, to go out like that in his final game, that was special to me. But keep your comments coming on what your favorite Kobe Bryant memory was.